In my last video you saw me build these blast gates, I've made seven of them and they're all on brackets. This is my first bracket that I made and managed to make them a bit smaller. So now I'm going to mount them on the wall and build the full dust extraction system. The dust extraction system is going to run from this cyclone up the wall to the top and then along from the top of the wall all the way along to the corner where it's going to run down for the three machines that I've got there which are the mitre saw, the belt sander and the spindle sander. It's going to come down the wall here, feed the spindle sander, belt sander and the mitre saw. There's going to be a blast gate for each. And then it's going to run along the top of the joists across and then down in the corner on the side of the shelving all the way down and then along and then I'm going to have a blast gate for my bandsaw and one for the table saw as well. I'm also going to have a hose attached to the wall here that I can unclip so that I can use it to vacuum up any debris from the workbench so first of all I'm going to mount all the blast gates on the walls, one for each machine pretty much. I've got a helper today, we're looking after the wife's parents, dog George, say hello George. I'm going to be using this little marker pen, they're really handy. I saw them reviewed on Ultimate Handyman and I bought one and they work really well. As you can see, it's sprayed through and I've got four green dots to drill the holes. So that's the first blast gate mounted on the wall, ready to do the others now. To secure the pipe to the wall, I'm using these clips, you just screw them to the wall and the pipe sits inside it like that. The great thing about these push fit fittings is literally you just can push the pipe in. and push them on. Like so. So I've got the first two blast gates attached. And I want to test the system. I've attached the current back hose here. I'm just going to test that the blast gates are working as they should. So I've put in all the pipe work now and you can see it's connected to the cyclone which is still connected to my vac down here. The pipe work branches off here which I'll show you in a minute which is for my kind of general vacuuming hose. It goes up the wall and then along I'll put my step ladders back up in a minute down to where my other machines are. It comes down and then branches off. This is going to be for the mitre saw. This is going to be for 
the belt sander and this one's for the spindle sander that you can see here. It also goes up along the ceiling and comes down in this corner goes round where my lumber storage is and along one for the bandsaw and the other for my table saw. So now I need to connect them all up to the machines which isn't going to be as easy as I'd hoped. The reason it's not going to be as easy as I'd hoped is it seems like every machine has a completely different diameter dust extraction port so I'm going to have to do some real fiddling around to make sure that I can connect the extraction ports up to the blast gates which are all about 40 mil in diameter. I've amassed quite a selection of connectors and hoses in a bid to connect everything up so let's see how we get on. It's got a 50 mil extraction port. I bought these uh, connectors that are basically for pool hoses. It doesn't quite fit, it's, it's a little bit small but I've wrapped some just duct tape around the edge to to make it bigger and now it's quite a snug fit. I've got this 38mm which is basically pool holes I'm going to attach to it. I'm going to give myself quite a bit of slack on the hose to connect up to the blast gate because I want to make sure that if I need to move the bandsaw around or out away from the wall I've got enough slack to be able to do that. So that's the hose all connected up and the bandsaw connected to the blast gate. The table saw outlet was about 75mm I think. I put a reducer on that I had with a kit of uh, hose that's reduced it down to about 40 mil. It actually now accepts one of the push fit fittings that I can just push over the top. I'm putting a right angle fitting on it so I can run the hose from the side as opposed to the front because I've got the folding out feed above it um, that might interfere so I'm gonna run it from the side. I'm gonna need a connector to connect the hose to it and I've got a nozzle that fits the 38mm pool hose that will fit just straight in there. I've attached the nozzle and the hose now and as you can see it runs round and out the side. I'm going to put a generous amount of hose on this as well because when I'm cutting big sheets I tend to move the table saw away from the wall um, and I want to have plenty of hose to enable me to move it around the workshop. So that's the table saw connected up now to the blast gate. The outlet on the spindle sander is slightly smaller than the 40mm waste pipe. It does accept one of these pull hoses right over the top of it though which is quite handy. To get the pull hose to fit in the push fit connector on the blast gate I've had to sand down the edge just to get the diameter small enough. The belt sander was quite simple. The push fit coupling actually fitted inside it. I put a bit of duct tape around it just to give it a better seal and I managed to run the waste pipe straight up to the blast gate. The miter saw I've had to use a combination of couplings. I used a straight waste push fit coupling attached to a wider, I think it's 50mm coupling that's attached to some 32mm hose. Um, the good thing about the couplers that I've used are they've got rotating cuffs on so when I move the miter saw around it enables them to move with it. The dust extraction on this Miter saw itself isn't all that great, so I'm probably going to build some sort of cabinet to better extract the dust and remove the dust from when I'm cutting things on the miter saw. The 
The last thing I'll show you which comes in really handy is this hose that I've got running along the front of the workbench. It enables me to hoover up any mess I make on the workbench or on the drill press when I'm using that. To enable me to switch on the vac and therefore dust extraction system from anywhere in the workshop I use this little remote control power adapter. You plug the vac into here, pair it with the remote control and you can then use the remote to turn the vac on and off. It works really well. I'll put a link up to where you can buy it on Amazon which is where I bought it. Definitely worth getting. That's the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. I'm really pleased with how the dust extraction systems come out. It's made a massive difference in terms of not having the hose draped everywhere. The blast gates are working really well and it wasn't that expensive. I think all in all with all the fittings and everything it probably cost me about 50 quid. So a bit of a bargain really and definitely making a big difference in the workshop. If you're interested in any of my other videos there'll be links coming up to see them. I'm also raising money for a charity this year, there'll be a link to that. So if you're interested take a look. If you're not a subscriber already please feel free to subscribe and hopefully see you again soon.